Hey, you guys, it's Taisha. I wanted to come on because I was drifting off to sleep and I had, you know, just thinking and reflecting as I'm always reflecting. And I had this thought that I wanted to just put out there because um, I've been scrolling social media a lot and I've noticed a lot of offense and people just kind of just um, feeling disappointed in people. And so I remember when I was about in my early 20s, maybe like 21, I just graduated um, college, undergrad, and I was on the phone with my fiance and I was like this young, naive, 20 year old, 20 something year old. And I was like, I wonder what I'm going to have to face in life. Like, I wonder what, what all I'm going to have to go through. Um, and so now reflecting on that moment, like I've always kept that moment, that conversation in mind. And now like 20 something, like 25 years later, like reflecting on that conversation about what am I going to have to go through in life and now have and gone through life and lived life, I'm like, wow. Um, and it makes me think about the scripture in the Bible that talks about don't let your heart be hardened. Um, and, you know, it's all throughout the Bible. Don't let your heart be hardened. Don't let your heart be hardened. Why is that so important? Because the things that we experience in life will sometimes cause us to be so hard and not want to actually deal with people, with things, with situations, so on and so forth, just to avoid the foolishness, just to avoid the disappointment, the hurt, the pain. You know that your heart is hard when you feel this just bitterness that you have towards people and like you have these defense mechanisms that are up and yeah, you got to protect yourself. But when you are protecting yourself so much that you are not allowing yourself to even receive the good that people can give you, or you're so guarded in that you're so guarded that you can't receive the good from people, that's when you run into problems. And that's when you have to like really like, like you know how you go to get your um your toes done your nails done and they take that pumice and they use the pumice to soften your feet by just shaving away all the hardness literally that's what you have to do after every interaction that causes you pain you have to literally go in and just shave that away from your heart from your being from your spirit so that you can go into new interactions with fresh eyes a fresh heart a new heart a heart of flesh where you can actually get what you need from the new situation in the new situation from the person that you're dealing with in that moment and how do you do that? I think that you do that by purposely and intentionally remembering that the situation that you may experience may have experienced with a person is not indicative of every experience that you will ever experience in the world. So do not generalize one experience that you have with a person to the world because it's not going to always be like with, be that way with everyone. The person that you had the interaction with, the experience with, or the situation that you were in was there maybe to teach you a lesson. Maybe it was there um, because that person needed something. Maybe it was just there because that person was trying to get their needs met. We don't know. But what we do know is that everyone is not like that. And you have to resist the urge to think that it's going to always be like this or that every person is like this in order for your heart to not be hardened. So I wanted to just drop this there. I don't know if you receive anything from that, but I hope you do. It helped me. Good night.